needed to throw some flags up before. Last possession started at the 25. This one, the 37. Stock still comes, firing. Ty Lee turns. Great adjustment on the ball. And he's inside the 45-yard line of minor territory. As surprised as anybody that Lee came down with a football. So Lee with a couple of catches. Now here goes Anderson. Anderson all the way down to the 25-yard line. Anderson, 5'8", 170. I know we were impressed with the UAB game. Yeah, definitely. He showed up, and he ended up playing very, very well, on, on especially on an offense that the coaches were questioning. Well, of course, they're coming off a bye. This one from 51. And he's got it. Plenty of leg behind that one. Play action. Going for broke. Has it. Touchdown. Ty Lee. Number four for Ty Lee, the sophomore of Moultrie, Georgia. That could have went either way. You had two guys ultimately running in the same direction at the same time. Obviously, he threw to the inside wide receiver. But he also had Anderson up on the top as well. Comes out firing here. Has this man out of the 40-yard line. Set on fourth down on the year. This is a fourth and five. Stock still over the middle. Has this, has this man. It's Tucker. Tucker at the 10. Dropped at the six-yard line. Boy, that was a juggling act. The reason why they were juggling the football right there is because that was basically intercepted. You can see Stocksell kind of forced this ball and he had his he had his target the whole time looking down the football field. You can see that, but Michael Lewis was all over him right there. Can haunt you. Maybe that's one reason they're three and five coming into the ball game. Stock still fires over the middle, has his second touchdown. Jimmy Marshall. Coaching staff talking about Marshall, only a freshman. They said, boy, he's still learning, but he's going to be a good one. Six foot five, 215 pounds out of Macon, Georgia. They like this kid a lot. He's got a lot of potential. He's got great ball skills. They said that when they watch film and practice, all of a sudden they see number 83. Here goes the big guy, Thomas, the converted linebacker, scoring his fourth rushing touchdown this year. So the Blue Raiders are wasting no time finding the end zone on their first possession of the second half. Not only that, but I just I just enjoyed what I just saw coming out of the quarterback position. Getting Brent involved in the game, talking to the offensive coordinator yesterday, learning about Brent's ability to run the football. And actually part of his game was a 10 to 15 running play set that he had. And up in his, it, it depends which running back you're talking about. Here's a good run by Fields inside the 30 yard line. Finally, Moffitt jumps on his back at the 20 yard line. So Joshua Fields comes in averaging 2.5 yards a carry. Those numbers should go up tonight. Yeah, you can see again, you got the big pulling guard right now. Hernan is driving his man into the ground. And then that's going to open things up for Fields. The minute you keep grinding and getting three or four yards a pop, that's what's going to be bruising upon the defense. That's when you're going to get the arm tackles. That's when you're going to start getting the big 20 yard runs. Fields picked up six, so it's second and four. Here comes pressure at Blankenship coming oh, off the top on touch. Sack. Now you can't leave Reed Blankenship alone. I think they nicknamed him Smooth. I've been hearing it from up here. He definitely was smooth coming off that top edge. They didn't see that. That was a capital S. Yeah, that's Sterling Napier. He needs to go ahead and go all the way outside. He is the pulling blocker on that play right there. And he obviously didn't see Blankenship coming off the end. The projections are at least two five and seven teams will play in bowls. So you wonder how many Conference USA teams will wind up with. I this saw one's that. Gonna be picked. Yeah, I saw that a mile away. That was basically triple coverage. You had both the corners over there sitting in the corner, and then all of a sudden the safety coming over and joined the party as well. It's going to be Nick Needham, the junior out of Buena Park, California. Yeah, you had a lot of guys sitting back there. You had Lawrence Montague sitting back there. Needham was back there. And Stock still. Another touchdown. That's three. Nice. He went up high and got that one. Tavon Salter. They've been looking to connect with Salter all night long. 
6'2", 200 pounder. They're looking for things from him as well. He's been starting the last few weeks, so look for his name to come up for the rest of the season as well. Great catch, great throw. Only place that can get it was up top right there by Salter. 65 passes against Vanderbilt last year. Here goes Thomas. Say goodbye to the linebacking position. Thomas rumbles over the 45 all the way up to the 48 yard line. And what was remarkable to me was when we asked Tony Franklin about Thomas and wondering if he's going to be staying on the offensive side of the football. Franklin basically offered him up and was like, no, 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 no. Unless we got something going on with the linebacking position. Uh, I hear 34 seconds to go and they just. Uh, they'll run a keeper. Run yeah, they'll run a little bit of a number. Yep, off the edge, you're done. And that should be it. Well, let's see a notch in the wind column for Middle Tennessee. We're going to come back and wrap things up here from uh, Murfreesboro. 30 to 3. Stick around. Our final thoughts before we send it back down to Miami after this.